so it makes it great for. Back from another episode, the mod litter we're playing mod of redemption. It also will be with other mods, including Alchemist NPC and my own original mod, Mod of Bread, which I will advertise to you right here. It is very good. It's much better than Sword that Kills Everything, even though that one has more downloads just because people are more interested in the Sword that Kills Everything. But it's okay. Mod of Bread is at version 0.1.0.3, and people like it, so yeah. Let me just make sure I was recording for that whole auctioneer impression or whatever. Yeah, it was. Okay. Good. Heck, we can actually see. So, oh right, I have this that terrible teleporter thing because I'm bad. Magic storage. And I have a few. I have a few. I have a few good ones. Anyways, let's. Um, but mod redemption is the only content mod I have installed. When I did my Thorium series, I also had calamity and a smaller mod called Endgame Content installed. Both adding, even though I basically really only did Thorium things, the only time I did Calamity things was in Free Hard Mode just because I wanted to finish the boss checklist. By the way, I don't think I'm going to finish the boss checklist here because that would probably require beating Queen B, which would require, um, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, which would require getting stingers and stuff, and it's kind of going to be hard to do. Actually, I might be able to grab the beam. A bean. I spelled it wrong. A bean. All right. Let me see. What do I need? I need a honey block. And a... We also need to craft the Terra Blade, but not the Terra Blade. craft that, we're gonna need to go back to the temple. But I thought instead of being lazy and purchasing a temple teleportation potion, I would just go to the jungle and search for life fruit, because I'm still gonna need a few more of those. And normally if I haven't been able to find um, these things by now, I would just give up. But I this is a mod that adds post lord content. So you know that it's going to be, like, it's going to have some pretty crazy insane, and insane bosses. So I want to be ready for those with full, maxed out 500 health. You can probably see if Life Fruit crafts anything. Life. Oh, right, yeah, I had a thing. A stable life, yeah. That's a post loop meticulous thing. Um. Which boss that I will do at some point, but be honest, even though I can't find right now, there's still a lot of things to do, like Martian Madness, the Witch Overlords. Oh, I haven't even thought about the fish run yet. And of course, the Abandoned Lab, who, which is what I'll probably do after I get like some better armor and. What was it I was talking about? I think. Oh, yeah, the abandoned lab. The, yep, the abandoned lab. Uh, the mini boss that's currently have fight. It's like third degree something or other. And what is that? Oh, it's a Skelter Noble. Why is it on land? So, um, I think we should talk about um, what we do after this year. So, I had three ideas. And if anyone watches this video, please, you can vote in the comments. Basically, do you want me to continue playing on 1.3 and do Ancients Awaken mod? And yes, I know Bob Redemption is available on 1.4, but when I started the series, I wanted to keep playing on 1.3, which was a mistake. Um, so should I do that, or should I go to 1.4 and play Calamity or Fargo Soul mod? I think both would be fun. Because I recently um, was watching something earlier today. It was like one of those 1.4.4 news videos with Chippy Gaming. And yeah, this isn't going good. It's because I have a battle potion! Why the heck? Battle potion. Okay, I, um, I'm actually going to temporarily pause the recording. I'll be right back after these messages. Okay. Um, sorry for the quick pause, everybody. Well, what happens if I click you again? Yep, quit wasting my time. So, yeah, I'm gonna wait until daytime. <sighs> Speaking of potions, pretty 
pretty soon I might have to refill these potions. Wait, why did I take the platinum coins out? I'm not stupid. So let me see. I'm going to need regen and light force. Tell you what, let's buy some of all the potions. Quickness, iron skin, regen. Why can't I buy a heart reach? Well, might as well take these now. <laughs> buy some spelunkers. Wrath. Endurance. I now have heart reach. Yay. I don't know, I'm just, I've never been really a big fan of Heart Reach for some reason. It's never really been my deal. Let's check and see if I have any Spelunker potions here. Spelunker! <gasps> Ooh, that's good. Nine Spelunkers. Anyways, let's see if I can craft more Spelunkers. No, but I can craft Spectre Bars, which I don't want to do because I'm saving those, um, what are called? um, I'm saving them for the next armor set because technically I still have three Plantera armor and that's not going to cut it for some of the next bosses, so, yeah. Who are you? Uh, I have so many NPCs, I don't even remember all of them. So I'm going to buy a jungle teleportation potion and I'll drink it when it becomes daytime. If there's like a daytime machine potion, that'd be a cool idea. They should add out to Alchemist NPC. Daytime machine potion. Second, I was like, where's my pickaxe? They realized, oh right, it's the dress. <laughs> I prefer drills over pickaxes because drills are just faster. Like, look, they're fast at it. Oh, and that's a gravestone. Stuff. Basically doing some gravestone spring cleaning. Look, I'm doing 200 DPS with a drill! Imagine how much I can do with the terror blade thing. And I this you know, something I worry about if I do do the Calamity or Fargo Soul 1.4 is... Um, will, like, Boss Checklist and Alchemist NPC and all these things there? I can certainly check. Tell you what, I'm just gonna help right now. Take my first longer. I have heart reach, so I'll be fine. Ow. Oh wait, it didn't get hit. Yay! Oh, but I'm going to. Yup, I got hit. There's some life through. Yay! And another Plantera bolt. Let's be careful not to touch it, because I still have three Plantera stuff, meaning that she can still very easily kill me, especially when I'm not in my arena. Even though my arena is just down here, so I thought maybe I should fight Planter. Alright, so that is two life fruit. So maybe. So we need five more. Five more life fruit. Looks like lots of life fruit has been growing. That's good. I really need to get this full 500 health. I mean, sure, I managed to beat Golem and Glantera on 465 health, but if I could just get that extra little bit of health, it would be so useful. It might be, it's like that one thing that can, like, maybe be the winning thing. Okay, so we gotta be careful to get the life fruit without breaking the Glantera bowl. Okay, good. So now we just need three more life fruit. Let's go. I haven't even explored that much in the jungle. This jungle, I mean. We might be able to. 
we can find our Queen Bee Arena as well. That'd just be great. Because Queen Bee, as you know, I haven't beaten yet. <laughs> Which is kind of stupid. But, and while I might not be able to get the stage for actually, wait, no, all I need is a honey block and some stuff for the permanent summon. Because, like, Witch Doctor would be nice to get. I don't know if I'm gonna need her or anything, but it'd just be nice to get her. Apparently, Light Boot somewhere down here, so I'm gonna look. <gasps> A minecart track. Oh, I think I've encountered this minecart track before. It seems familiar. It might be one, but it's new on the map, so how can you encounter it? Well, because if there's ever a problem with, like, literally any mod ever, that ever existed ever, that you've currently downloaded, it, like, resets the map, so to speak. And even worse, if you load it into the world, anything that you have stored in, like, a chest from a mod, it's deleted. Deleted permanently. Of course, the... Items from mod you just have standing around, they don't get deleted unless you, like, throw them in the trash. Or place them down and then break them. Um, yeah. So. Basically just don't... All these longer posts I can probably... Be good. Oh my gosh! No! Piss! That's what it was playing me through all that time and it was just pointing me towards a minute. Great. Da 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 let's heal. Oh! Oh no, my greater healing potion. Dead boy. Santa Claus has arrived. Oh, nice. Wonder if he sells anything useful. Probably not, but we'll check him anyway. Hi, Santa. What, you thought I wasn't real? Yeah, of course. <laughs> he does have the Christmas trees, though, which I love. I love the Christmas trees. Let's take these, this life fruit right now, just to see my health go to. Oh, 85. Three more life fruit. Let's see if there's anyone we can buy, like, those potions for. Maybe you. Oh, those are tokens for, like, guaranteed reforges? That's interesting. Shop. Do you sell potions? Nope. Yes, you can sell greater healing potions. 75 silver each. That's not bad. I will buy your entire stock. And I realized now that was too much. Um, it's okay though. Right, I need to right click it like this. Oh my gosh, no. <laughs> Yeah! It teleported me back right into the thick of the underground jungle. So basically the area where I just died. If I can floor fight, we might need floor fight. I doubt we will, but we might need floor fight. Let's see if I can kill this guy. I killed him. Yay. Light group. Life fruit. Life fruit. Life fruit. Life fruit. Oh no 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 no. Actually, I should probably see if it's material now. It 
It is. You craft oh, summons an empowered thornbane of the forest. Okay, I'll check that later. Because right now I'm being attacked by a jungle bat. A few jungle bats, actually. Heal. Okay. You just please die. Oh my gosh. I crap. I think I'm gonna see. Why did I press Y? No, I meant to press R. So shining here. Oh, the last of the two. Okay, so I might need one extra one for this. Other than that... I think I'm gonna take the long way to the jungle this time. Well, I do wish there was a quicker way. Sometimes that's how it goes! And I'm gonna... A quick? A quick? <laughs> I'm going to equip something! <laughs> I'm going to equip some BOMBS! For like... Oh look, this is my little desert fishing spot. Yeah, pathetic, isn't it? Anyway. saying ever since my first ever time I played Terraria ever ever. Arapaimas are a pain. Uh. Past me knew it well. Actually I think I'll just do bombs. That last bomb didn't do much but all the other bombs were decent. Collector. 
berries. I like the tax collector. The tax collector gives me money, 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 money. You can get them for a relatively cheap price if you're good at using your purification powder. Maybe I should use a gravitation potion just for fun. You know, that seems like the type of fun, stupid thing that someone like me would do. Okay. Good. Why are these stacked? That upsets me. I'm consuming one of them. This punishment. You see, this is the problem with not having good armor. Everything kills me. Oh, I gotta yell it. Isn't that like one of the rarest items in the game or something? And I got it from a lizard. Sorry, not a lizard, a lizard. Or however you pronounce it. It's like lizard with an H. Lizard. It's telling you you, you you aren't lizzing well enough. You need to do a good hard job lizzing. Okay? Liz hard, Mr. Liz. Liz, you're not lizzing hard enough. Liz! Liz! That was <laughs> That's the lunky though. That's the lunky. That's good. And one of the wires is like itching my Grab this blunky. Grab those torches. Oh my goodness. Nope, nope. You know I thought I haven't even unlocked the temple yet. Like technically. And, yup, I just died. Well, hopefully I have enough solar tablet fragments or whatever, blah, 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 stuff to do Oh, yeah, here's the yellow. It's me. Um, let's depose it all. And then let's see about crafting a solar a tablet. Uh, yes, 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 yes. Yes. Let's not use it yet. Let's wait until tomorrow morning so we have as much time as possible. Let's talk to you. Okay. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I don't know what if I broke that plant. Will it teleport me somewhere else? Well, let's test it. Oh my goodness, it's derpy. So derpy, am I right? I'll check now. Oh, and all I need is two more light fruit. Maybe three if you want to be really nice to me, Terraria. Yeah, so that I can craft that. Fruit of the thorns. You know, and I haven't actually looked at the bosses that I haven't fought yet in this one because I don't want spoilers. But based on what I've heard from other looking things at the wiki, I'm pretty sure um, the ancient deity duo is just a refight of the evil crest golem in the thorn guy with his face. Pretty sure it's just a refight of those guys at once and harder. Which, to be honest, doesn't really sound like a post moon lord boss, but I'll allow it. It's probably actually really fun. Although, to be honest, I'm now that I think back on it, just refights of two older bosses doesn't seem good enough to qualify it as its own boss. Even if they are really hard. I, yeah, I think it's like something like, I, in the wiki it says, these two bosses have harder forms that you can fight, like post moon lord or something. And after beating in them individually, you can unlock the summon for the ancient deity duo. Or something like that, I don't know. Loki is kind of Life through. By the way, that's a 
crazy amount of lead. So I, I have vein miner. Let's mine that. Oh, so satisfying. Satisfied, satisfied. My name is Angelica Skyler Alexander Hamilton. Where's your family from? Unimportant, there's a million things I haven't done, but just you wait, just you wait. So, 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 so this is me, like the Mad Switch, so we need to level what the heck is the catch? It's the freedom of seeing the light is fine, right? When the key and the kite, you see it, right? Conversation last two minutes, raised three minutes, have a kitty set a total agreement, it's a dream, and it's a bit of a dance, a bit of a posture, it's a bit of a stance, he's a bit of a flirt, but I'ma give it a chance. Family, the easiest answer and Sam's hard sizzling looks scared. He's painless, he's flying by seeing his pants. Handsome boy, does he know it? He flies and he can't even grow it. Too far away from this place, they turn to see his sister's face and she is helpless. And I know she is helpless. And her eyes are just helpless. And I realize three fundamental truths at the exact same time. Where are you taking me? I'm about to change your life. And by all means, lead the way. With Skylar. Skylar, my sister. I'm the baby. Number one, I'm a girl in a world in which my only job is to marry rich. My father has no son, so I'm the one who has the social fine for one. Because I'm the oldest and the wittiest and the gossip in New York City is and city is. Sandra is penniless. Ah, doesn't mean I want the many less. Ease after me because I'm a scholar, so still laid that aside. Have to be naive to set that aside. Maybe that is why I introduce him to Eliza. Now that's his bride. Nice going, Angelica. He was right. He will never be satisfied. I know my sister like I know my own mind You will never find anyone as just nor as kind If you tell her that I love him She'd be silently resigned He'd be mine She would say I'm fine She'd be lying But when I fantasize at night It's Alexander's eyes As I romanticize What might have been if I had incised Him up so quickly at least my dear Eliza is his wife. At least I keep his eyes in my life. Especially considering how much I hate the event. Everyone hates the event. 
I, like, literally everyone. Oh, right, lunatic cultists. I gotta be careful about that, because that's what I know. Can't believe I'm still visiting this dungeon for this reason, when I should be fighting the war. <laughs> but, not yet. This mod adds, like, two glitch overboards or something. Given I can't complain too much because last time I tried farming in here, I got one of the materials for the master ninja gear, so I really cannot complain. In case you don't know, the master ninja gear is one of the most. Oh my god, I'm pretty too nice. I'm actually getting rid of it. Um, master ninja gear is one of the most overpowered accessories in Terraria history. It has the dash, it has the shadow dodge, it has the ability to climb walls. It's just OP in every meaning of the word. Actually, wait, OP is one word, two words. Overpower. Actually, no, wait, what? That's wrong. Oh, that's wrong! OP is two words. No, wait, I've got that. I'll get that. Anyway, I'll just grab the armor set made out for us, of course. It's not worth farming all these things. Four is... Oh. Oh no. That's not good. I should probably go here and search soul of blue. There's nothing you can craft here that has soul can't craft soul. Which makes sense. I mean, you wouldn't want to. Wait, you craft one shade soul. Oh, using ten small shades. And vice versa. Drop shade souls. Okay. Well, if I go into items, I can search for a soul of bloom. Right? Yeah, here it is. And yep, the blossom droop. I'm gonna need some more souls of light. Can I craft souls of light? No, because I don't have souls of light. Soul of Oh, I only have souls of light. Okay, well, I'll tell you what, it's time to get some more souls of light. No, I haven't been to the underground hollow in like ages. Which is funny because that used to be where I spent all my time. And I mean it's longer. Probably get rid of those soon. Yeah, I'll go down and farm for a little bit for some souls of light and then craft the forest druid armor, then do the solar eclipse, craft the terra thing, then once I've crafted the terra thing, um, I might try Martian Madness. 
So you know, once I get the Terra thing, I'm gonna test its DPS. If it has good DPS, then I mean that's good. There's something I wanted to do with the Terra State. And I don't know why I'm just calling it the Terra thing. It's the Terra thing, guys! I don't know, if just stay is never a word that came back to me. Like, I don't know. It's the word stay, but it's like kind of hard for me to say for some reason. Maybe I have some sort of lisp I don't know about. But, like, I don't know, just the word stay. It's like kind of hard to say. Stay. Like, well, it's not hard for me to say because. I can't say it. It's hard for me to say because the word doesn't naturally cross my mind. Like, if I'm thinking of words, the last word I'm gonna think of is stay. I would think wand or magic, not stay. I might even think staff, but not stay. Stay is just a very specific word. And I just went on a big tangent about the Days and stuff. Oh, so like, yes. And a lost soul, too. It's not bad. Oh, a blast of gold. Those things used to be a nightmare, but now that I'm in hard mode and I have OP weapons and stuff. Yeah, it's not broken. All I need is one more broken hero state, and then I can grab. So let's see. How many. Let's turn the game to auto pause for a second. Alright. So there. How many cores cores do I need to grab this? So I already have eight. So I need six more cores. So I need ten souls of life. Okay, got it. So I need five more souls of life. Nope. Oh. I'm trying to hit the menu. Maybe I should have turned off auto pause. <laughs> I don't know, auto pause kind of feels like cheating to me. I use it a lot in my Calamity playthrough because I use Nurse Cheese during Supreme Calamitous. And trust me, you do not want to be wasting precious time talking to the nurse when fighting Supreme Calamitous, even if it was in normal mode. I think one of the reasons it took me 103 attempts to beat Supreme Calamitous in normal mode, which I know is pathetic, it's just because I was too lazy to get good accessories. But to be honest, it's still a problem I have. If I ever play Calamity again, it will always be a problem I have. Just, you know. I'm just kind of too lazy to farm for things. But of course, now that I have my own mod, I can just add crafting things to that. That might not work for Calamity, though. Because then my mod would need Calamity to work. I don't want that. I want my mod to be its own separate content mod. To be honest, my mod is turning from less into a content mod and more into a quality of life mod. I add content when I can, when I know how to, but it's turning into way, way more of a... What's it called? Quality of life mod, like I said. I don't know why the name quality of life, I forgot. I don't know, I just have to kind of like weird things where words don't cross my mind at the right time. You know, it kind of reminds me of this one joke I heard from this one um, internet cartoon thing that I won't mention because some jokes are not appropriate for all audiences, but um, the joke was somebody asked, hey, what'd you get for your birthday? He said, I got older! And he's like, yeah, and then he's like, Ugh! and then freaks the other guy out. <laughs> it's funny, it's funny, it's really funny. And it's from a very, very popular web series. Well, it actually kind of reminded me of Red Shell a lot in some of the jokes. <laughs> Which, um, in case you don't know, is my show. I made Bread Show. No one else did. I'm just... Actually, I don't think anyone else worked on Bread Show. Did I Aha! That means I'm superior to all of you because I've done a Bread Show. I mean... There have obviously been other people who have made something called Bread Show. I once saw these, like, little kids cooking some bread and calling it Bread Show. I 
didn't watch much of it, but it was probably good. Yay, that's all the silver light I need. Okay, oh, and it's already daytime. Okay, quick. Nurse heal. And solar eclipse. We're just waiting for a mob to spawn. Okay, so this weapon is kind of bad in an event like Solar Eclipse. Mostly because it's kind of hard to hit small targets, and it's kind of hard to see when the screen is so dark. Oh, a moth run. Yes. Okay. Just gotta not die. It's the no heat moth run challenge going. OMG. No, I have a friend named Chris who likes game jokes like that. If you're watching this, Chris, how you doing? Chris is a good friend of mine. He's a hammer, which, to be honest, makes it hard for him to play games. Because he doesn't really have arms. Okay, well he does have arms. I just don't like anime hit with arms because a hammer with arms. No offense, Chris, but a hammer with arms looks kind of disgusting. Except for Chris, though. Chris looks kind of cool. He's cool with arms. Mm. Oh, that's godly, though. That's a godly eye. That's good. Godly is the best modifier for weapons, I'm pretty sure. Just that classic Terraria YouTuber luck. So we just gotta wait for Narmothron. Let me just make sure I don't have to. Let me use this ancient world stage. I don't really like the world stage that much. I don't think they're that useful. Man. Unicorn mouse. I don't know how I live. Like two years of playing Terraria without once using a unicorn mount. I thought that was really cool. Like unicorn mounts are like seriously the most useful thing in the world ever for events like this. I love them. I mean, there's only one. It's the blessed apple one, but it's still so good. Like, it's so fast, and you can do, like, whatever the heck you want with it. Let me heal. Yay. Ah, heal it. Alright. Please drop the terrorist stage, or whatever. No, not me. She won't drop the terrorist stage. What am I on about? She's not gonna drop it. I mean, she would drop the broken hero stick. <gasps> she did- Oh, wait, no, that's a sword. <laughs> I was so excited for a second. But I should probably store this money somewhere safe. So I'm gonna go back, turn on auto pause, click stack. Tell you what, while I have auto pause on, let's go here. Pause all. Let's just pause this. 
this. Grab some four scores. Oh, I can only grab six. Oh, I can only grab one! Some more ancient twigs. Maybe the armor set won't come yet. <laughs> oh, I forgot to heal. I was gonna heal with the nurse. Meat, some nurse cheese. Boom! Yep, now all my NPCs are done. Cyborg was slain. Yeah. Not very good. No, they should have the ability to convert broken hero swords into broken hero staves and vice versa. Let me actually check. The Terra. Yeah, the Terra stay is crafted using this, which you craft using a broken hero stave, which is not able to be converted from a broken hero sword. You know, I'm thinking of making my own, like, fan-made DLC mods for some of these mods. Like, I add useful recipes to Calamity, and Thorium, and Auto Redemption, which are, like, really the only three mods I've played so far. The content mods. Endgame game content was good, but it was hard to tell which boss was like which, because like, there was no boss checklist for it. Hopefully I'll come soon, because that's actually a very underrated mod. It had very useful and fair recipes. It, it added um, pretty fun bosses out of the ones I played, and it was like, just a good mod. My, a mod I made! Little old me, little old me! Subscriber almost. YouTuber. Who no one cares about. Has more downloads than actually really high quality mod with boss fights and everything. Guys, if there's anything you take away from this video, go download endgame content and play it. You might need to look it up. It doesn't have a Terraria wiki either, but it's so good. It's actually like so good. It adds a new ore called Life Force Ore, which you can craft life crystals out. Like, that's genius! It, it's it's kind of ripped off um, Life Quartz from Dorian Mod, but it's still good. The fact that someone was able to kill that is impressive. So yeah, overall, I think Endgame content is a very um, underappreciated mod. Is it as good as Thorium and Calamity and Mod Production? Of course not. Of course. Nothing. <laughs> I just... No small mod is gonna be that good. But it's actually, would I say it's like on the same level is like usefulness as like magic storage and boss checklist? Of course, it's great, it's great. It just adds lots of useful recipes and stuff and it's fun, it's fun. I very much enjoyed my time with endgame content. I didn't really even get to appreciate all of it until my Thorium playthrough because when I download it in the middle of the Calamity series, mo most of the good things you get from it, you get from a world, new world created. Okay, I just went on a huge tangent about endgame content. Hopefully the creator of endgame content sees this video because I really, I really want to let him know that I like this mod. Or her mod. It could be her mod too. I don't know who the creator is. I'm pretty sure it's from there, though. I don't actually know for sure. <laughs> Maybe it's a man bread like me! Haha! -ha! Fellow bread, unite! Broken hero stage. Yet. We're still only slightly past halfway through. We still have three hours left. In Terraria time, that's three minutes our time. Still three minutes getting on the phone. Probably two and a half minutes now, yeah. Two minutes thirty-five seconds. Haha! -ha, that was perfect! I think that guy picked up some gold. He did. Bada baffa! Like anyone notice how it just temporarily plays, plays Megalobania in the solar eclipse scene? It's just ba da da da! 
I don't really like other things. I just kind of had some sort of strange, like, Undertale days or something. I was just like, Undertale is the best thing ever created ever. It's like, it is me. It's something. It's crazy. And I need to go home and heal. Okay, that was actually a good move there, because I got, that was very much intention. <laughs> it wasn't intention. But it was still good, nevertheless. No, even though I love this armor set's little, like, extra damaging thing, um, I really need a better armor set. I definitely do not want to fight Martian Madness, at least on camera, or in one sitting. Because that would just be terrible. I hate Martian Madness so much. It is like the worst part of Terraria. I'd say it's even worse than the pillars. Because the pillars are manageable. It saves your progress and stuff, and you don't have to fight it when it's active. But once you start Martian Madness, which it's you can actually eat very easily do unintentionally if you accidentally summon the um, Martian Pro without killing it. You see, the way you summon it is you gotta find the Martian Pro at the end of the world, and once you do, um, you just let it scan you, and then the light comes in, then let it get away. But the only way to stop it, if you're just, if you're just wandering about the end of the world and it scans you, the only way to stop it is to kill it. And if you aren't prepared, it might fly away. That starts Martian Madness. You can't just fight it wherever you want. No, it, it has to be in your house. Meaning that all your NPCs are gonna die over and over and over again. Yeah, I hate much of that. Everything about it is stupid. Like, it's too difficult. And it has a silly way of summoning it. It's just overall not a good event. And I do not enjoy it. I wonder what the jungle looks like. Oh yeah, we've explored this amount of the jungle now. Oh my gosh! No! I'm dead. Oh no! 21 gold! No! Kill him! Yes, kill him, tax collector! Kill him! Kill him! Kill him! Is the noob gonna do it? Is Santa Claus noob? No, the butcher's getting away! So why aren't you protecting it? Son! Yes, I will pay the doctor's fee. Okay, okay, I got 10, 11 gold back. It's not 20, but it's also not bad. I will avenge you that random 10 gold is probably not that important. Ah! I will avenge you by killing a moth. Wait, what? Hang on. It says 5.30 p.m. That's gotta be a glitch. Oh well, I won't bother fixing it until I get my last moth off. Once I, um, beat the, tell you what, I think I'm gonna make some, meet a smith um, who can say no to this, I don't know how to say no to this, there's nowhere I can go. And say no, yes. Oh right, it's still daytime. I was like, thinking I it was like I was thinking it was 3:30 a.m. and I was waiting for daytime and stuff. Yeah, that's I'm pretty stupid. Okay, I'm only at 200 health, which is pretty bad, but it's fine. I 
might be able to upgrade to like 250 or 300 looks like I'll go like I guess not. Come on, we only have one more minute to get him off on. And I'm dead. I just got <laughs> the broken hero state, then all my troubles are over. You know, I thought I saw the destroyer down there, but it's just a sudden one. You know, when I beat the destroyer in this world for the first time, there's a weird glitch where its body, like, was chasing me after it died. That was weird. I should probably go back to that video where I destroyed the destroyer. Now it's more of a recent video because yeah in the last few videos I basically just beat full of implant error. No wait no no stay with me Mothron stay with me the enemy stay why don't you stay Mothron I could take you I could kill you That is some more money. So we're all I got a decent amount of money from. How's it all in? I know we can't, but let's see. Oh wait, I was searching the wrong thing. True. True Lenore. Broken hero state. I think I should make some sort of new mod that's like Mod of Redemption DLC and allow you to convert Broken Hero Swords into Broken Hero Staves. Because that would just be nice. And... What do Revival Potions look like? Clearly you don't sell it. Let's turn auto pause off. Tell me what! I have some pretty strong gear now, and I have that hollow stain. Tell you what, let's try going to end this thing on a high note. Let's go back to the, what's it called? The abandoned lab. So the abandoned lab is there right there and if we can beat that boss then we can fight another mini boss and if we beat that mini boss that really doesn't mean anything because we can't explore the rest of the lab until we beat moon lord and unlock new pickaxes to be honest i think like armor and weapon wise i still pretty much the same things as i did um last time i fought this guy but Accessory wise, I have this now, I have this now, and I have this now. Not only that, but I have a broken bat wing, just in case I really, really need better flight. Although, to be honest, considering how cramped the room is, I don't think better flight is going to be good. Maybe I should grab like an ink shield or something. Would that be worth it? is pretty bad because you take now I'm actually going to switch to controller here and those who are new might wonder why keyboard is so much better and you are absolutely right keyboard is better but there's this special super secret thing where if you um what's it called if you press down on the d-pad your attacks home in. 
I'm gonna leave that, but it's slightly easier to spam. See how good is my actually no wait. Not yet. Let's wait until we get there. So I'm gonna switch the controller just the way on the switch there. So yeah, this is definitely better than a hollow weapon in all ways. A scarlet thing? It's good. It's very good. Ba -da 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 Don't bomb. Boom, bomb, but don't bomb. Boom. Like 50 million gold to fight. 
and I love that because it, it kind of locks him behind a bit of a paywall, forcing you to like save up a lot of money to fight him, which means he probably won't have as much potions about the time. It's just a genius boss all around. He's really like the best, best boss of this mod so far. I've only fought five bosses in this mod so far. Not telling you many bosses, but King Slayer the Third is definitely the best. I doubt there will be a single boss better than him. Maybe Patient Zero? I don't know. I have I have seen gameplay of Patient Zero, I think, on like a chippy news video or something. But overall, King Slayer the Third just has quality this fight. Oh well, the good thing about replacing my dash is that at least I have two extra defense now. You know, that doesn't matter because I already missed my dash. Oh, I can heal. Yay! T-Bot might be able to decode the data. Ah, okay. So, lore. I do like some good lore. So, what is in here? Guess I can't open it. Without... That's the infection hive, which has a bunch of um, enemies hidden inside it. Annoying enemies, too. You know, I do think the abandoned lab is a pretty cool area. I do like it. Anti-question is the same. MK1 plating, that's that's very useful. It sells for a lot and craft uh, summon for what's his face? A gas mask. That's immunity to radioactive fallout. Why did it say huda huda? What does that mean? To be honest, I don't know if I want to know. Wait. So we can't go up because of sludge. We can't go down because of sludge. So where can we go? Well, obviously. We have to go right. Oh no. Dying. Actually, I think if we go up and around. Aha! I found the cheese. The delicious cheese. What is that? Delicious. So if I find the big area, I'm just gonna assume. Oh, yep, this. Oh, this is 100% the boss arena. Yeah, oh, yeah, this is so. This is such a boss arena, it's not even funny. Like, this is very obviously a boss arena. I'm just gonna find these guys to death for fun. I think that hollow weapon might actually be better against these guys. Wow, there's actually a lot of things hidden behind these sledge blocks. But this is definitely um a boss arena. And I'll fight the boss soon enough. I think I should just heal up first. So, so, reset my potion. Maybe that was a bad idea. Maybe I should have kept left first. But yeah, I'm gonna... So 
switch to controller just in preparation for the fight ahead. Two, one. Oh, it's 10. 10, 9, 8, 7, 7, 8, 8, 8. Yes. Tell you what, let's wait for my health to regen. That way I can save. Oh. Let's check the map. Yeah, wow. This area is massive. It would take forever to clean out all the sludge. That's why I'm not going to do it. I'm too lazy. So, yeah, my health is almost at full. So, and by the way, as of yesterday, I started playing Cookie Clicker, which uh, was a game I used to play, and I started playing it again for the first time in, like, years, and it's fun. It's very fun. Okay, Eradicated Behemoth. Oh my goodness. Whoa, this guy is hard. It's like a wall of flesh, but vertical. It's like the ceiling of flesh. Or the ceiling of New Lord, which is something I know is a part of Soul for DLC. Yeah, this guy's just moving downward slowly. Okay, this is actually a cool boss. I like it. You can kind of see eyes as well. Yeah, that was cool. That boss was cool. You cannot deny that boss was cool. Well, I suppose I should end this video now. Well, I'll see you next time, guys. How long has the video been going on for? It's hour and seven minutes. That's funny, because that's exactly how long the last one was going for. Well, I'll see you next time, guys. We're we'll hopefully crafting terribly or whatever. Hold on, wait. Is that a gold bunny? It's a gold bird. Okay, so let's see. Let me get my net ready. There's a gold bird. Yay! Money! Free money! Free money! Free money! I love me some free money! Yeah, basically, I have an addiction to cash in this game. Yeah, so this is probably useless. I wonder if we can sell it. Oh, a T-Bot! Right, right, T-Bot, T-Bot. We need to talk to you about these floppy disks. Read floppy disks. Oh, okay, we need to hold the floppy disks. Okay. Read, whoever named Zima my alien rock couldn't have been more spot on. This stuff is so unnatural and weird. It's cut the stone, looks like Rito Pink Court. No more. It also has the ability to eat organic material. Convert the organic material to more of itself. So it's kind of like Skulk in Minecraft. They both agree a serum that neutralizes an existing infection, but it won't stop creating new infections from occurring. Okay. Someone or something has activated a green force field ahead of me. Not sure if this is happening around the lab. Wait, someone's coming. You aren't aware of Zine Mike's more deadly sign until it's too late. Carrie, I think that's patient zero, right? Was struck by the infection the worst. And I was there to see it and tried to treat it. All I knew was something was calling us and Carrie's skin to die. So it was causing rashes and caused fear and irritation. I could not save him. I miss him. Oh no. Man. If we're talking about lore though, I think this is even better than Calamity. I'm not saying the lore is better than Calamity. I think all lore is pretty much good and the same. But Calamity's lore was like outside of the game. You needed to like look it up to know it. Like, give you a little bit of lore in the boss things, but it wasn't like the complete story. But this game, I mean this mod, it has all the lore available to you. You just gotta piece together the puzzles. And I love it. I think that Mod of Redemption is geniusly designed. Like, there's so many different stories going on at once. There's the story of Kingslayer III's ship. There's the story of the abandoned lab. There's 
the weird nuclear infection. There's the mysterious T-Bot. There's the Keeper and its ex mere existence. And all of them are tied together in some sort of weird thing. I mean, this game, this mod, it's so geniusly designed. Like, I... I've gone on a lot of rants this episode. But this is definitely the most passionate one. I think Mod of Redemption might be the best out of all these three mods. Just because of how well it's made. Like, the lore is so well crafted. And you, and you like, need NPCs to do it. And most of the NPCs are tied behind beating boss fights. Meaning that it encourages you to fight bosses to learn the lore of other bosses. And sometimes you need to learn the lore of a boss to fight it in the first place. Like, my gosh. And the fact that there's some... The Keeper has a little minion who will spawn naturally if you're underground sometimes. Everything about this mod is so well crafted. It's ingenious. I love Mod of Redemption. And just and the fact that there's even a sword who can tell you lore for every single enemy and boss and you just click on it using the sword. Yes, I've read about Lore Holder. I know about him. Like, just wow. Just, this mod is amazing. Like, wow. But, like, some of these mod developers, like, I feel like they should be making actual games. Because, like, this talent in sprite work is only noticed by people who are fans of Terraria, like me. It deserves to be out there in the world. People deserve to know about these things. I mean, sure, Calamity has 10 million downloads. I mean, that's more than Cuphead. <laughs> but, like, still, more people need to know about these mods. Mod of Redemption needs its own wiki instead of just being on the Terraria mods wiki. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's an honor to have a wiki at all, but... Imagine how great it would be. It's clear there was so much love and care put into this mod. So, you know, I just, just want everyone to, you know, like, see these mods and just appreciate them. They're so well designed. If you don't like Terraria, at least read the lore of Mod of Redemption because it is so well crafted. So well designed. It's like it's almost like the lore of a horror game. Except it's not a horror game. It's an RPG. It's brilliant. Like these guys should be actual game developers. Like this is this is amazing. I love Mod of Redemption. It's very good. I'm gonna put these in all trips because I'm not really any arrows. It's just Mod of Redemption is a great mod. And you know. Um, how long did that tangent go on for? It went on for six minutes. <laughs> well, I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time! Bye!